Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I'm sitting in my war room appreciating how large Leo Belgicus is and my people, the Leglander. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, let's continue our invasion of the United States. Uh, through Mexico and Florida and the American South. Good times. Oh, we finished drop tank, which is pretty good. This will make things even better. Boy, do I need more supplies. Eventually, once we hook up the fronts, the supply situation should get much better, so... At least, that's what I'm counting on. Oh! Wow, California has a lot of oil. Oh, that's because the British invaded it. Cool. Alright, you know what we might be able to try? Extreme measures. That might just get us the results that we're looking for. You know what? I think I'm right. Lord knows, I hope I'm right. This might be our final episode. I don't know. But it's worth doing. Yeah, 62 destroyers is a lot. Is a lot of my ships? Oh my lord, 58 ships were hurt. Too bad you just can't send like a few at a time back, because this is... Wow, I'm going to lose a lot of ships. A lot of destroyers because of this. Yeah, whatever. Things happen. Oh, and actually... Uh, you... We'll need to extend the front line to here. Yeah, that'd be good. Come on, guys. There's holes in the line. We can do it. We can beat these Americans. The Defense Commission has only lost 23 million men. We've only lost 8 million. Jesus Christ, we lose a lot of people. Uh, let's see. Motorized. Oh my lord. 40, 1,400 soft attack? That is so much. Oh, you don't need some of this. Texas, Arizona. Oh, yeah, you, you can't take the America out without having air superiority. You just can't. Oh, we are slipping through here. So fast. Ooh, actually. Uh, you go ahead, take out Nolans, and go like right there. That'd be great. Modern SP artillery. Well, we're just going to finish up as much as we can at the moment. The, uh, they just can't beat this armor. Gemotorasir da Huzaren. Huzaren. Hmm. Interesting. Even, even having so many, uh, whatchamacallit. it? Oh, we're gonna link up the fronts. We're gonna link up the fronts. Oh no. Come on. Come on. I'm at max speed. Come on. Huzzah! Our fronts have been linked. We should be able to push a lot more supplies through both sides now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are we are we going to go around the mountains? That actually sounds like a kind of good idea. Oh. Through Kentucky or... Yeah, this is Kentucky. Now we just have to push? We need to push through the deep south and ensure that we get a victory. You know what? Just, just, before, just in case I might lose a lot of political power, we're going to annex you. We're going to annex the Chinese Empire because... Why not? Oh, it only costs 50 political power. Nice. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. Are these my own personal divisions? I don't make any of these personal divisions. Uh, the only divisions I'm making are currently motorized, so... Nice. Look at all that manpower now. I'm sure i got a couple more factories. Over 3,000 factories in my nation currently. And my lord... Yeah, yeah, the Americans are done. Oh, you don't even have a division in your fighting. Just General Collins is fighting. Well, he didn't last for too long. Yeah, this is probably going to be the last episode. You know what, where's this tank army? You know what, get out of there. I want you to surround Peru. Because as soon as we're done, we're going to invade Lima. With just tanks. Just tanks. And actually, you know what? This is a terrible idea. Right now, it's doing it like this. 
We're going to split this off real quick, and they're going to go here. Uh, no, actually, they're going to go somewhere else. Yeah, that's probably better. Fleet 27, I'll put them back up with uh, the other fleet, eventually. Or probably never, actually. This literally might be our last episode. You know what? I'm saying it, and you know what? It's going to be our last episode. Can I nuke Washington? Oh, I can't. They have a nuclear power plant here, though. Cool. Some more supplies for this side. The Deep South is just going to become, like, Belgian clay. Belgian? No, 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 no. Dutch, Leo, Belgicus clay. And it's going to be glorious. It's just going to be absolutely glorious. Let's do Colorado and fix up North Carolina. That'll be that'll be good enough for radar. Western seaboard. Oh, it's probably not going well. Eh, we got a couple battleships. New England. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well help out my puppet. You never know; they might reinvade. All right, Leo Belgicus, attack the north. Actually, anyone down here? I'll take you and just just kind of go through here. Yeah, that'd be good. Cool. We'll take that out. Uh, the Midwest of America, of the America, of America. It's pretty exposed. Maybe we can calm down a little bit with all the attacks. I'm sure, that'd be all right. Let's see, modern radio direction finding. Text of partisans goes even lower. No, that's all right. You can go from here all the way over here. Go like right there to include a chunk of Canada. And give them time to, you know, reorganize. You know, have a pit stop in Alabama a little bit. Maybe in Mississippi. Kansas. Arkansas. Not Ark. Not Arkansas. I think Destroyer. Oklahoma. Nebraska. I don't know if that was Nebraska or not. I'm just saying it's an American state. No one remembers Nebraska. You know, most people don't. Semi modern rocket artillery upgrade, too. Nice. Yep, I guess it's time for some anti air. Anti-air is actually, I think, fairly strong in this game now. At the time of this recording. At the time of this recording, I'm still playing on patch 1.51. Not 1.52 yet. At the time of this recording, it has not been released, so... I just kind of play whatever I got, you know? How is my planning bonus? It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty nice. Well, at least for some of these divisions, at least. That's so nice, we're going to go ahead. Because we need to break out of the South. Because America's like, I need to lose more men. I don't need all these factories. They've only contributed about 51% of uh, participation. And they're only 38% towards capitulation. Nice. Oh, God, no. We don't need more free dockyards. I'm done. I'm done looking at these things. Modern SPNT air. Uh, max speed, but more armor. Max speed goes down even further and further and further and further. Wow. Uh, let's do engineer reliability. Negative 5% does not sound good. Why would we do that then? Because it gives us more fort attack and urban attack, apparently. So, how many ships do we lose? None. I don't like Kirjan. What the barnacles? There are still American divisions here guarding these provinces despite basically losing all their convoys. Because I did check between these episodes. They're pretty much out of convoys at this point. How many nukes will it take to get to the center of death for these guys? After I research this, we're going to see. So, let's send one nuke in. The Windward Islands are pretty warm already, but not like what they're going to be. So we got one nuke on the way. That did quite a bit of damage. Another nuke. Two nukes. Third nuke. We need at least four. Maybe five. Six. Oh, they got a seven. Eight, nine. Ten, eleven. We did kill one division. We'll kill another one. Twelve, thirteen. 
So it takes up to 12 to 13 nukes to fully get rid... Ooh, nice. More base war support. To get rid of a division. That's a lot of nukes for so few guys, comparatively. Oh, yes, these guys... Oh, what happened to these guys? Did they die? Must have died. Um... Oh, it's certainly surrounded a couple of American divisions. You guys go ahead and push in. And you guys go ahead and finish pushing in. Because right now, the Midwest is just like... Being in the Midwest. No one is opposing me in the Midwest. Oh, oh well, okay, Britain. I don't know why you completely avoided Washington. You're like, Canada? Oh, I, I see why. You took over British Columbia. Because it had the word British in it. I understand. Kind of. I really don't care. As long as this is the final episode, we're going to feel great about Leo Belgicus taking over the world like we normally should. And we're going to have a good time. It's been 20 years since the war started. Since the game started, at least. And Peru will be our last enemy. Belgium, or Dutch world conquest, is at hand. God dang it, I want to nuke this place. I don't even have a strategic bomber nearby. Um, number 20, what are you still doing down here? 20? Mexico. Uh, just, just join somebody. This guy. Uh, heavy bombers? Uh, just go up there, that's fine. I should research better strategic bombers, but that's okay. Nice, that gives us quite a bit of range uh, for all my armies. And now we can properly nuke Washington. Ah, uh, yes. Atomic bombing of Washington. That's a nice colored picture. The native of the United States in an attack clearly directed at the political center and historical legacy of the United States, the White House, the Capitol, and a number of monuments and memorials were wiped off the face of the earth. Even the burning of Washington over a century, century ago pales in comparison to the destruction visited upon the city by this devastating weapon. Although President Antoine Mossert uh, has been brought to safety, the nation has been shaken to its core. They are not President of the United States yet. Not yet. No doubt the U.S. hoped to be the first and only country to wield such a weapon. Wait, what? Those hopes have now been shattered in the worst possible way. Okay. One nation, indivisible, versus one atom, divisible. Of course, you would put that something like that. All right, cool. And Washington is now ours after we nuked it. Not bad. What is this like? Division occupation modifier policy. Some more American. Div oh, oh, let's put them out of their misery. These hicks in Tennessee are dead. So Y'all come up here. I, I know I literally just said y'all. Y'all can attack. Y'all can help the attack. Oh, we're not doing so well. Courtney Hodges, what you doing? What you doing? You need a nuke? Indiana's not good enough for you? Good enough for me. And they're dead. Alright, now, Indiana, I've got to repair your infrastructure. This is not really good. Oh, yeah, just keep building stuff up. Now I say it's a stein of fairly brisk death. The West Coast has been a big problem. I'm not sure why we haven't been as much. Huh. Oh, it's eluding me. There you go. Oh, yes. Level 1 Toad Anti-Air. Phenomenal. Let's see. You all join. Six, five divisions. Uh, six divisions. Cool. I don't need your divisions, man. Thanks for the offer, though. Man, we just keep trapping more and more American divisions. It's great. So let's stop these guys. Let's attack these guys. You can help attack this division. You should have enough strength to do so. 1949 radio finding. Alright. At this point, y'all can be pretty extremely aggressive. That's alright. Let's mop up these guys and I'll help reorganize a couple things. And they're almost dead and they're gone. Cool. So 
So you go from here down to there. Your goal is to get that scene called Canada. You don't need planning. You just going to be told what to do. Oh, is this where a three-mile island accident happened? No? Cool. All right, whatever. You're going to help attack. To make sure these Americans don't break through. And we can't pierce their armor, unfortunately. Because we don't have any real anti-tank. That's all right, though. And actually, I think Three Mile Island accident happened, like, here. Over here. I don't remember. Actually, I wasn't alive during then. That's how young I am. At this point, you go ham. And actually, we need to extend this front line. Go, my boys. Achieve success. You're going to go whenever I tell you to go. And America should fall very soon. Yeah, they're very close to capitulation. We're taking out Chicago, Detroit, Washington, D.C., New York. Once we get New York, it's all it's all over. It's over. It's over. I hope. Okay, I lied. I lied. Uh, L.A.? Do we have L.A.? Or, I guess, San Francisco? We have L.A. Oh, but now we're going to lose it. Oh, yeah, we do have L.A. There we go. And the war's over. Wow. I don't know who these are. But I'm just going to say... Yes, please. Oh, there must have been South American states. That's a terrible way to do this. Just take all the states. There is no liberation. Arabic Empire, which was Saudi Arabia, Philippines, Mexican opposition... Uh, Brazil was a pain in the butt. It was probably the worst country to try to take over in this entire game. Tibet was a terrorist state. Venezuela was not too bad. Cuba was pretty good. Qing, not bad. Oh, this is, you know, truly, historically, Dutch clay. All of this. United States, I'm going to go gobble, gobble, gobble. Awesome. Awesome stuff. We ain't done yet. There's still two countries left alive. And I don't care about the results anymore. Let's see. Oh, you need to come back over here. Go ahead and go back. That's fine. Even though this game is pretty much over. We're not done yet. The Peruvians been evil for too long. Nice. And yep, and there's a peace deal. I've taken 135 states. No, Peru. You know... Actually, I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. Demobilize. How would I demobilize? We're going straight back to war. Semi-modern flamethrower. How about a steel factory? It's been 20 years late. But, Leo Belgicus, you don't have a faction, but no one needs a faction compared to where we're going. And actually, I don't have enough. Why are there... Enough divisions down here. Oh, they must have taken some, something? No, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, they probably took something, but it was actually rightful Peruvian clay. So I'm going to give my guys a little bit of time to get down everywhere. And then, you know, we'll have a great time. The excavation's done. Anti-air is done. You boys move on down as well. That's okay. And we're going to annex the UK. Next. Excavation. Oil. Yeah, sounds good. And... Oh, wait. I need to actually give them stuff. Oh, crap. Uh... 5167? 5167. Five, you know what? You could... Looks like you could use, like... A lot of, uh... Motorized units. You look like you're a guy that could use it. Are you guys down here yet? Come on. You're taking forever. Just because we destroyed all the infrastructure doesn't mean you need to be so slow. Come on, guys. Wow, my war support is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Enemy bombing. There's no more bombing going on. We only have 100% world tension. There's only two countries left. Peru and the best country. Alright. Any day now, this should be going a lot, lot lower. Any day now. Any god dang day. April April thirtieth. Well uh okay then. 
What the heck is going on? Oh, there we go. It'll go down even further soon. Oh, and actually, you know what? It just, it'll be easier if I just do this. Um, yeah, that'll be good enough. Completely not needed, but whatever. Nice. I have boys down here. I can annex them. Can I get a like for taking up the United States? I know it's been a while, but whatever. Here we go, boys. And I guess girls as well. Nice. So these guys are completely done. I don't need any of that crap. Oh my, oh my god. This is their fleet. Wow. That was their entire fleet. Four carriers, two light carriers, three battleships, two battle cruisers, five heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and <laughs> three destroyers. Wow. Uh, go ahead and repair down here. I don't even have planes for your carrier, so I can't even help you. But that's okay. Because this game is over. Yeah, go right ahead. I guess I just finished a Trump class. Trump? 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 Oh, it only takes one day. Wow. Dezevan? Yeah, but more light cruisers. Sounds like fun. And the Peruvians never knew what hit them. No nukes, huh? Well, 12, fighting 12 divisions is a little tough in the mountains. Actually, I don't even have air superiority. What is wrong with this? Well, we're fighting here, so it's, that's probably the reason why. And we'll win eventually. And, I'm, wow. I'm out of reasons or out of things for my civilian economies to do. So you know what you should do? Infrastructure, that's right. Man's greatest gift to this world is Dutch infrastructure. You know me, there's nothing like infrastructure to boost your economy. I hope that didn't rhyme, and if it did, I'm sorry. Yeah, Peru will be ours, actually. Alaska, nothing like the good old historical Alaskan highway that rivals the highway in uh, Amsterdam in real life, right? Totally. Amsterdam is not flooded. I don't I don't really know much about the Netherlands. I know part of the country is literally underwater. That's, all right. That's kind of what I know. Um, can you just nuke you? Is that enough nukes? I'm gonna have plenty of nukes. Are they gone yet? Am I nuking the wrong place? I guess I was. Oh, yes. I guess I killed them very well. So they've suffered so many... Oh, my God. And here we go. Peru is gone. And this has been my playthrough, starting off as the Netherlands, taking out Belgium, Luxembourg, and then the rest of the, the world, you know. After I took I have all the low countries, then I just annexed the world. So, this has been one heck of an interesting game. The next game I play will definitely not include a world conquest, because I'm kind of tired of that. Like, I mean, I don't mind doing a regional complex like just Europe, or just Asia, or maybe even just Europe and Asia and Africa, but, you know, invading the New World gets boring. I mean, South America was just terrible. But I would like to thank the person who recommended playing as the Netherlands. I've never played as such a minor nation ever. It's so small. It was fun, especially in the beginning, it, but it kind of turned sour after I tried to invade the, net, uh, the UK with those divisions I lost. It just My heart broke and sank a little bit when that happened, but you know, other than that, I've really enjoyed this experience. I've got a ton of factories. I hope you enjoyed this experience as well. I hope you enjoyed watching me. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. That really helps me out. Uh, maybe subscribe. That'd be great. If you have any other ideas for any other country I should play, I mean, I'm open to other mods like Kaiserreich if it'll be, ever be updated. Hopefully it's updated by the time this video airs. Uh, I like Millennium Dawn. I, I actually just downloaded a new uh, Confederacy, you know, American Confederacy mod that well, might be interesting. Uh, just leave your suggestions in the comments below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you leave a like. I hope you subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.